Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna have a first impressions look of the Van Skate Old School Shoe. Let's get into it. This is the first time to the channel, then welcome. My name is Jess from writtenbyjess.com and I make videos and written blog post content about sneakers and lifestyle products. So if you like that kind of content, then please consider hitting the red subscribe button right down below. And if you are a returning subscriber or a viewer, then thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. Super excited about this one because one of my most popular videos on this channel is the comparison between the Vans Old School Comfy Kush and just the regular Vans Old School. So when someone told me about the Pop Kush, as you can see in there, I was really interested. These were just on sale and I decided to pick them up and have them in the plain black colorway, but I thought I would go with something different and thought this one was pretty cool. So let's get into the first impressions. The retail cost for this shoe here in Canada is $115 Canadian and then US it is about $75 USD. The colorway for this particular shoe is pewter and true white and the weight for this is about 803 grams. It's a little bit heavier than your, your Comfy Kush for example. The Comfy Kush comes in at around 520-ish grams. So about 300 grams heavier. It doesn't sound like a lot, but in hand you can really feel the difference. Next, let's talk about materials. There's only really three materials happening on the outside of the shoe. So the toe box area and the back heel is made of suede and the uppers are made of canvas, a really thick canvas, I will say. And then obviously the midsole and the bottom of the shoe are made of rubber. The sizing for this shoe has been true to size for me. So I'm generally a seven men's or an eight and a half a woman's and they fit perfectly fine. They fit like every other old school that I have ever owned. Let's go over some of the features, but just keep in mind that this shoe is catered to those who are skaters and skateboarding. So a lot of the features have to do with skateboarding. And I just wanted to mention that as I go through the list here that we have. So some of the features include increased durability dura cap. So they are saying that they have created higher sidewall heights for a more heritage look with increased durability and protection, a fully redesigned upper area of the shoe and it's uh, reconstructed with a molded heel counter and internal tongue strap for a locked in fit and more board control. There's a lot of grip on the shoe as well they claim and it's made of sick stick gum rubber and it's uh, the stickiest rubber they've ever had apparently. There's the Pop Kush cushioning and they claim it is their best cushioning and impact protection. And uh, this is the, one of the main reasons why I actually bought this shoe here. And so I really wanted to see how that felt. And then last but not least, a mix of suede and six and 10 ounce canvas has been used at the upper maintaining the aesthetics of the original old school shoe let's talk about why i actually purchased this shoe a i love the old school silhouette and my comfy cushions are starting to break down a little bit and so i thought i would get a new pair someone online had mentioned on one of my videos that there is one called pop cush instead of comfy cush and that really intrigued me. I looked it up and it happened to be that the pop cush liners in the old school shoes are actually catered to those who are skateboarding. So I think they wanted to give a lot of cushioning to make sure that you're getting a lot of comfort while you're skating. And so I looked into that and they looked exactly the same to me except for the lining. And you'll know that it is a skate line shoe because it has this checkered flag on the shoe there so you'll see that on all the skateboarding line old schools and i thought that was kind of a great way to indicate what type of shoe it is so at first let's look at the insole so this is the pop cush insole by vans so you can see it says uh, skateboarding right on the red box there and this is what it looks like it's actually quite cushiony pretty thick 
I love that it's a purple, one of my favorite colors. There's a lot of support actually, for me at least here. I definitely do not put my own personal insoles in this uh, just because it won't fit anyway. <laughs> Even with a bigger size, I think it'd be pretty uncomfortable. So I will say upon my first wear, it is very comfortable on your back heel here. Near the front, it just feels like your typical Vans old school sneaker. And uh, on the inside, as I had mentioned, it has these straps here. So you don't really need to tie up your shoes really that tight. I know when I was uh, skateboarding back in the day, I didn't have my shoes on that tight. Uh, and then the back, it also has that. I mentioned this in the Comfy Kush video, but it has that little back piece there. And I mean, it doesn't really do anything to be honest with you. I think mine has kind of come off on the Comfy Kush line, but it's just kind of there. And you know, it's a pretty simple looking shoe. I think uh, in terms of comfort and why I bought this, I will say this shoe is a lot more comfortable right out of the box compared to the Comfy Kush. And there's just a lot of cushioning on the back heel, as I mentioned. Other things, first impressions, it feels like an old school. I will say that the materials, like the suede and the canvas, are very high quality. Like they're really thick and stiff. And that might be a negative for me, but I haven't worn these long enough to know. But when you do put these on, they're not, they're very stiff and kind of, I feel like it's gonna take a little while to work in. I'm not really sure how to explain it. It just doesn't feel like a regular old school. I think a regular old school has a lot more padding here. This is just canvas, uh, nothing else inside, but I'm hoping that as I wear it, it, it will kind of break in a little bit. But I think these are made so that they are going to last you a long time as you skateboard. And so I'm sure strategically they put really heavy canvas on there so that when you're doing your kick flips and your ollies and all your little tricks on the board that you know they don't they don't wear out as quickly right so i think that's the main reason why the the shoe itself is like pretty stiff again this is a skateboarding shoe but i think they did lift the edge of the rubber here over the shoe a little bit more let me just grab my comfy cushion i'll show you the difference and you can kind of see it side by side so if you look at it side by side you'll notice that the gray one which is the skate one it the rubber goes over a little bit more than your comfy cush old school and so i think again that's another reason they're just doing this because it's a skateboarding shoe. It's part of the skateboarding line. So I think they're just doing that for a little bit more protection as you're skating with uh, your shoes. Everything else looks pretty much the same. I will say the only difference that I've noticed is that it's just this insole here. A little difficult to take out the comfy cush lining, but you can see the difference there. It's pretty drastic. I don't know if the inside of the actual Comfy Cush shoe has a little bit more padding, uh, but on here it's like pretty. It's pretty hard. Like not a lot of uh, not a lot of comfort there. So again, the real difference between the Van Skate and the Comfy Cush is really this portion of the shoe. In my opinion, I think the materials are a little bit. Uh, thicker on this just because you're doing so many tricks on your skateboard and when comparing the prices really it's a $15 more do I think it's worth it I think it's kind of worth it $15 isn't that much I would say if you do though have your own insoles that you can probably just get yourself a pair of the comfy cush or the regular old school and just pop those in uh, like me i have my own and i think for future i just bought this to try it out but for future i'll probably just get a regular pair of old schools or comfy cushions if they're still around because there is a rumor that they are being discontinued but i do think you know if you're not someone that wears custom insoles 
uh, and you want a little bit more comfort, then I would definitely go for the uh, skate line of the old schools. Just my opinion, it may change. I haven't really worn these long enough. I've worn them for about uh, two weeks uh, during uh, busy work days. But I'm generally inside for most of my day. I'm not really like outside doing a lot of different things. I am on my feet quite a bit. However, uh, you know, I haven't really worn them long enough to really be able to tell you my honest opinion. Maybe I'll do a video in like a year to let you know how I feel. Someone did ask me the other day if these actually give me blisters in the heels because they were experiencing that. I will tell you that all the old school bands that I wear, they always give me a little bit of, not really blisters, but a little bit of a sore as I wear them. However, I will let you know that as you wear them, they get a lot more comfortable, they mold to your feet, and then eventually you won't have that soreness on the back of your heel. If you do get blisters, maybe you can just wear some band-aids to cover it up as you break them in. And as once you break them in, super comfortable, they mold to your feet. So I'm not really worried about that. Um, they hurt just for now because they're brand new, but I'm hoping that everything will be okay as I continue to wear them. But that's really it, like a really quick first impressions of the shoe here. I definitely will be doing a more in-depth comparison with the Comfy Kush. I actually threw out my, just my regular old school Vans, I believe, because there's a hole in them. And so I don't have that to compare to all three, uh, but I definitely will do a comparison between the Skate Line Old Schools and the Comfy Kush Old Schools. Again, there is a rumor that the Comfy Kush line is going to be discontinued. Then my recommendation for what shoe to get would be a little bit different, I think, but you know, we'll get to that whenever that comes to be. But that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this quick one. Let me know if you have this shoe and what you think about it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Bye. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. Please consider subscribing to see more content just like this. There is always more to see on my blog at www.writtenbyjust.com. Thank you for all your support and we'll catch you in the next one.